And I look at that email, I'm like, oh my God, you're giving up just after three weeks? That's ridiculous. Hi there, Imtiaz here from JobReadyProgrammer.com where we teach thousands of students how to code and get jobs in software development. This video is going to be about some, I just want to give you some words of encouragement because I get asked questions about, uh, you know, some students ask me, oh, I've been learning this thing for a month and it's just not registering, I'm not understanding. I learned this and then I forget what I learned. Um, you know, uh, and I'm just giving up or I'm quitting. You know, sometimes people end up quitting and I just want to tell you what to expect uh, and why software development could be uh, perceived as something that's hard, whereas in reality, nothing new is supposed to be easy. So if you think it's hard, of course, anything new is hard. What you don't know is hard. But I want to give you a perspective as to what you can expect uh, that process to feel like when you're learning. Uh, let's say you've learned, you've been learning to code for three months. Where should you be after three months? How should it feel uh, after a year, after a couple of years? To be a confident software developer, it takes about four years to be fully confident and just be able to look at code and say, okay, let's let's get started. Uh, most students uh, take a lot of time to learn, and that's just you know it's, it takes work. It takes a lot of time to learn. So. Uh, that's why I don't like these coding boot camps that say, oh, full stack developer in six weeks. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> um, through, there, are, there are shorter paths to uh, getting your foot in the door in tech. Uh, the, 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 the shorter path that I recommend is the data path. That's one of the paths on my website. Three to four months if you learn SQL only. And within, because the, the breadth of knowledge is less, it's just a couple of things, a couple of technologies that you need to learn to understand and get your foot in the door in it as a SQL developer. The full stack developer has a much wider breadth of knowledge, so it's going to take you longer to learn all that. That takes a year. So um, obviously it varies depending on which path you choose, but both paths, you're going to have to work hard every single day. So right off the bat, if you're somebody that is disciplined or that is somebody that doesn't give up, you have an advantage. Okay, uh, the learning, now let's talk about how difficult it is to become a software developer. Uh, just like learning anything new, it takes a lot of work. No one was born a good software developer. Every uh, prodigy coder that you see out there put in the work, okay? And it all depended on how much passion they had in that given field, uh, and they became a prodigy because of that passion, they continued to work. It's easier to push through something that you enjoy. So if you kind of enjoy, software development, but you're struggling, trust me, there's nothing to worry about. If you enjoy it, you're going to master it. You just have to keep keep at it. Don't give up. I get emails from students saying, you know, uh, I've been working on this thing for three weeks and I'm just not, it, maybe it's not for me. I'm giving up. And I look at that email, I'm like, oh my God, you're giving up just after three weeks? That's ridiculous. Let me paint a, uh, let me give you perspective so that you understand how this, uh, the, the, the journey is to becoming a software developer. Anything new, when you're learning it, you need to forget it. It's about the process of repetition. You learn something, and then you forget it. And then you learn it again, you forget again. You learn it, you keep forgetting. The more iterations of this learn, forget, learn, forget, learn, forget, the more iterations of these that you go through, the faster you're gonna learn something. I remember when I was, uh, I took classes on acting to eliminate my shyness a couple of years ago. Uh, I was uh, very shy, so I, I thought I'd challenge myself and take an acting class. And what I learned in that process was to learn a script, it takes a lot of work, but it could be very effective if you just force yourself uh, to really memorize it and then forget it quickly. Memorize it, forget it quickly. Don't try, just try, don't just try to keep remembering, memorizing, 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 and not giving yourself an opportunity to forget. So what uh, eventually what I started doing was I'd get the script and I'd read through it, and then I'd put it away and start recalling, doing recalls with my mind and trying to think, uh, what was the first line about? And the the faster I got into this forgetting mode, and then. Uh, going through that process of remembering, forgetting, remembering, forgetting, the faster I was able to learn scripts. Uh, you know, that's just a different example. But anything in the world, whether it's singing, whether it's lifting weights, whether it's anything, you want to learn something, it requires you to forget. And let me tell you, the process of coding uh, is just like any other challenging endeavor out there. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, I could compare it to when kids are first 
uh, introduced to words in, in pre-K and then in kindergarten, they're learning to put words together using letters. And then once they get the words together, they're now trying to learn about building sentences. And then they form the sentences. Then they learn about how to make paragraphs. And then they learn how to write stories. And eventually they get to a point where they can write books. So that's the kind of learning curve that's required uh, as a developer. And uh, many professions, any technical profession is going to require that kind of effort. And you can't give up. I mean, if it takes a kid to ra wrap their head around how to write paragraphs about three to four years, then what makes you think that you can do it uh, within three weeks or six weeks, like some of these boot, uh, coding boot camps? So it takes work. I remember when I was um, uh, still a beginner in coding, I first got my job and you know, I, was, I was learning to code still. Um, you're always learning to code. I'm still learning to code. It's been like 15 years I've been coding. You've, th there's, there's always new things to learn. So that process will never end. Um, I remember when I first started, uh, I was kind of weak on my algorithm and data structure knowledge. So I wanted to pick up a, a data structure book. And the one, the, the data structure that was giving me the hardest time was red black trees. And it, it is a complicated data structure. Uh, and I remember it took me like three months of just you know, bashing my head across the screen to get to a point where I could comfortably start coding red black trees. Three months of everyday work, like it was, it was, and by then I already had a job, so I was putting in extra time to learn this stuff. Um, it's not like I didn't know how to code, but it was, it was a struggle. It takes time. Some things just take time, and this is one of those things. You can't give up. Three weeks, come on. Six weeks, come on. Six months, no. It's not time to give up yet. You got to keep going at it. All right. And keep working at it, and uh, eventually you'll get to a point where you're gonna you're gonna thank yourself because if you give up, that's the worst thing you could do for your own for your own psyche. Your brain is gonna remind you every time you try to do some new endeavor. It's gonna remind you, hey, you're the guy that gave up last time on on doing that. What makes you think that you could do this? So don't let yourself get into that. Your brain will, uh, your, our, our brain controls us. We don't control our brain. So you want to make sure you set yourself up to win, which means you decide beforehand. If you kind of like something, if you kind of enjoy the process of coding, but you're not a coder yet, uh, trust me, that's all you really need. You just need a little bit of passion. And then you need a lot of work. Work, work, work. R repetition, repetition, repetition. Keep forgetting. That's okay. Just keep at it. Keep beating at it. And eventually you're going to get to a point where you're going to actually be a master at that given craft. And programming is a wonderful craft to be a master in. It's a very rewarding field. I've got courses on my website. I've got two paths. Uh, both are uh, great. They have great job demand. Um, so give yourself a chance. If you kind of enjoy what you're doing, keep at it. You have to work hard to get anywhere in life. All right. And uh, that's my promise to you. If you work really hard and if you keep practicing every single day, trust me, in a, a, a matter of um, a short a year, you'll be a full stack software developer. In four months, three months, four months, you can be a SQL developer uh, if you just focus on SQL in the beginning. All right. Uh, so keep at it. Don't give up. And uh, if you liked what I had to say in this video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date and share this video with as many people as you think it would help. And with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video.